Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl. It's your girl. Like today, I'll be teaching you how to cut and sew a fitted short gown with a big hand. So I finished marking out my measurement, which I'm still going to explain. I finished marking the measurement, both the vertical and the horizontal measurement, but I will explain. From here, from your shoulder to this line is for the armhole, which I use eight and a half. The bust point I use ten. Waist I use eighteen. Um, hip I use twenty eight. This is for the vertical measurement and the last piece. Then for the horizontal measurement, I've already placed it. What you have to do is divide the bust measurement of your client into three into four sorry because we fold our material into four divide it into four whatsoever you get you place it this way for those of that don't know how to put you place it this way whatsoever you get you mark the center is applicable to the waist and to the hip then to add the neck depth it depends on what you are if you want it to be very close to the neck you do three me i use three and a half because i don't want it that close if you want it to any number it depends on how deep you want how far you want it to you can do four you can do five you can do six you can do seven okay then this way i did three and a half you can still do four five six seven depend on your preference what you like then for the back you go down by one inch depends on you so you come down here half inch for the shoulder slope on your um, armhole line you go up by two inches two inches two inches this way as well then you connect it this is for your armhole curve so that is just it for it then you cut out this this line here is one inch allowance if you want to cut you cut from here down then you cut this one you go up you cut this way then you cut this one is for the back, you can cut together, but this one is for the front. You will not cut them together. If you want to cut this one, you remove the back one. Then you cut this one like this. After which you now open up your zipper because you have this person to have it. You open up your zipper allowance. So that just it. I will cut it and sew and come and show. Why so you sew on this line? So like this. So I'll I'll cut it after cutting it. I will sew it and show us how it looks like so i've finished cutting it and this is what we have this is how it looks like make sure you put a notch like notch them so that is the see the front that i was talking about the front and the back okay you go ahead and open up your Zipper allowance. You open up both the zip fabric, the main fabric, and the inner lining. Have the hand and don't be in body. Here is the hand. So if you do very well, you know I'm working on fabric. So I'm not supposed to use color chalk. Then I use white. If you look here, I've already marked where I'll be cutting for. Like you will cut from here down to here. Then at the down part, you're going to put elastic at the down part. That's why the shape is like this. You can give it any shape you want. Our armhole, round armhole, is 10. What I have got is 10. So I measure 10 like this. Then you cut from this allowance, not this one. This allowance. So I'll go ahead and cut it. So this is the hand, I'll go ahead and sew here. I put my elastic at the down and then I'll come and show, show us the final. So this is it. This is the beautiful gown that we have. So beautiful. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.